Woo! What's up, everybody? Today we're heading out to Jackson, Mississippi to my buddy JD Passes the Vault 390 car show tomorrow. It's supposed to be about a thousand cars. Why are you trying to run away from me? Are we still married? Anyway, so uh, we'll see you in Jackson. We're going to be hanging out. If you're in the area, you definitely don't want to miss this. It's going to be a lot of cars, a lot of fun, barbecue, beer. It's going to be great. Now I got to somehow get through security. We, we hope a stuff. <laughs> Right on, everybody. So we just got here for the pre-party. It's the VIP pre-party, right? I'm very VIP, you know what I'm saying? And it's uh, the Vault MS390 Car Show, and it's gonna be the first one of the annual event that I'm gonna be at every year because JD's a good friend of mine. I heard he's put on an extremely cool program down here, and he's doing a lot of stuff. It's my first time here, so I'm gonna get to uh, see it for the first time, have some fun, maybe buy a couple of cars, and tomorrow at 11 a.m. it kicks off. Beer, barbecue, tacos, hot rods, all the shit I love. So I'm going in and check it out right now, and you're not going to see all the cars yet because we're going to show you all that tomorrow. For now, it's boozing it up, eating some barbecue, and having some fun. What? It's a lot of cars all up in here. <laughs> Love you, brother. Did the you go to the hotel and clean up first? The, yeah. the tortoise and the hare, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually. So, I grew up with a pool table exactly like this with a little bridge in my bedroom from the time I was eight until I moved out of home. See how good I am? I ace that shit. We put on a hell of an event, JD. Here at the ball. You come to a hell of an event. Look at this, it's crazy. I know. Everybody's in there so drinking, glad. having a good time. I was thinking about riding one of your fried horses right here. Right here, because I've never get on one. I don't think I Tomorrow, can. Tomorrow, I'm going to challenge you to trick riding contest on cotton tail and trigger up there. All right, that? we might do we that. Might but do thanks that. for having me at your place. You bet. I want to go get drinking I'll right now. You guys $100 a piece if you get on that at the same time. Fuck, we're well, in. Well, I'm in. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, let's stop. We'll get on. I didn't, th I didn't actually think they'd do it, but I'll, I'll take that. Hundred dollars a piece, he said, JD. I'm in. Oh, that's not working. Holy shit! That oh, it's still going. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hundred dollars. We just I, I just a hundred dollars. <laughs> I think that was worth a hundred dollars. I'm gonna get on. <laughs> so I ain't kidding. I am pretty sure that I could not get on and off of that. There you go. And they broke it. Look, it quit. No, it's got to You broke it. We broke it. Look at that. Hey, you want to flip for this 100 bucks? Yeah, I do. You got a coin? It's going to cost you. I ain't got a coin. to fix that. No, it's good Huh? You got a coin? I don't carry coins anymore. Oh, look at that. I don't carry coins You got a coin assistant. Yeah, I got a coin assistant. You going to flip it? I see it. What is the flip, Richard? It's it's four hundred dollars that we got from Dennis. We just got from Dennis. There's a heads and there's a the tails. tails. Uh, All right, you gonna flip it? We gonna call it? Yeah, push the button, because I don't want you running when you lose. Can you do the heads I win, tails you lose? Yes, yeah. ready? Huh? Call it. No, I don't trust you to catch. You gotta hit the ground. <laughs> you ready? There is Mrs. All in there. Twelve. Tails, brother. Well, there you go, cowboy. <laughs> I told you you'd go around. You just 
made two hundred dollars or two Thank minutes. you, brother. And that's what happens. At that's the what ball. you happen at the ball. Uh, you make money at the ball. I'm out of breath from running so fast. <laughs> Can we go to drinking now and cut this camera shit yeah. off? Yeah. Boom! Here we are. The Vault MS390 car show. My boy JD Pass has pulled it off. There are literally over a thousand cars here. A lot of things going on. I just got my first beer, so it's going to be fun in about a couple more hours. Woo! We appreciate y'all spending some time with us. So, guys, welcome to Jackson, Mississippi. First question. How did y'all get connected with JD Pass? Oh, oh that's a bad. I gotta get away. From that, I gotta get away from that speaker there. Yeah, yeah. You stand back here. How did we get connected with JD Pass? Well, it's a it's an old uh, town down in South Florida, and uh, we were hanging out in Mexico. And no, <laughs> no uh, JD's a, a fixture in the car world and has been. A uh, matter of fact, a lot of uh, my knowledge came from uh, these two gentlemen right here, Dennis and JD. Because uh, they have been in it. Well, I don't know how y'all are way old. You're way older than me. So <laughs> they taught me a lot of cool stuff. You're grayer than we are. <laughs> so we actually met JD Pass through the classic car auction circuit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, JD's the top grinder in the world. He doesn't do it anymore, but he's outstanding at it, man. He can make you pay $50,000 for a $5,000 piece of no, or they, whatever These maybe. are my customers. Man. Oh, well, there you go. Now you've heard the secret. <laughs> and he doesn't grind on his customers here. So did you restore it or what? No, sir. I bought it restored. It's a pretty clean. I'm not, yeah, I'm not I mean, it's a nice looking really car. Somebody did a good restoration on it. <laughs> Where would you drive in your first car? I don't particularly really? personally like the wheels, but well, to each their own. It's a nice car, though. And I was driving around in the hay field in the first year. Okay. I'm going to check this uh, car over here out, guys. One owner, not for sale. <laughs> well, he ain't old enough to have owned it one time. <laughs> so he got it from somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Is it still registered? Yeah, it's still in original. So we can't get the Jeep outside of the car. My dad wants you to see something. What's he want me to see? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, Molly! You got a ride in this front? Is this what he wants me to see? Yeah. Is that how he hauls you girls all around? Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Oh, hello, Michael. Somebody talking to me. Yes, hi. She's saying it's your name, Richard. My name is Richard. Molly, let me say something. I want to say something. I always watch your TV show. All right. Molly. Get down here. We've been talking. Is that a TV? Well, not right this second, but it will be. All right. Well, this is pretty cool, girls. That is a crazy rare car. Now, let's see. What the VIN code actually says. Seventy-three. Pretty cool. I could use it. So here's the money shot right here. What's that? See the Z is in zebra. I do see the Z is in zebra. That's four hundred one. That's four hundred one. That's crazy. Is there a, is there some kind of enumeration in there that tells us four speed or no? No. <laughs> All right, I'm just testing you. you might have made up some Make shit. Sure I know you. That's right. I'm checking him out, keeping him on his toes. Now this '59, I do like. Big window, killer patina, laid out on the ground. Yeah, that's a good looking truck. Got a little crusty right here. Whenever you're looking at a truck like this, what are you looking for? Well, as shitty as it sounds, uh, uniformity in the patina. Because, you know, you throw a different color fender up there, it's not going to look, you know, uniformity. And then, big window, you definitely want. You want uh, all the old school attachments with the, with the accessories and the brake lights. And then look at this old mirror. I mean, that's, that's definitely, you know, uh, aftermarket mirror, but probably purchased sometime in like 63, 65. Those are cool. 
And then, uh, you know, he did a good job. He uh, sectioned the bed up. It's laying on the rails. It's as low as it can go. Wheel and tire situation is good. So Jeremy here's got this uh, 78, right? 78. 78, Lingy Continental, loaded, loaded to the gills. Super nice, one original color repaint. 20 something thousand miles. 21,000 original miles. I mean, this thing is sweet. So what are you thinking on it? It even says, stankin' Lincoln. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you didn't cut up the dash and yeah. you put the radio down there. Yes, sir. That's sweet. Oh, it's got the air blows cold on it. Blows ice balls. Super cold. He's wearing a sweatsuit yeah, a day like this. He's yeah, driving this. Yeah, he's, he's super cold. He's either trying to lose weight or that AC works. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works. It's super cold. Super you a gambling man? You like flip quarters? Woo. How about, uh, I think five grand. Yeah. No, I can't do five. Don't hit him. No, that hurt me. You just hurt, he, he just hit me. He, he hurt you hard. And I'm, I'm yeah. I, he's on my turf with you, so I'm gonna actually take up for you a little thank, bit there. You, I was thinking thank more like 6,500. <laughs> <laughs> both of them, it's both of them. Took his one. <laughs> yeah. I'll come up to 6,500. You want to flip to see which one was getting the bike? No, no, we, uh, we gotta, we gotta look better than that. Come How on, close? Man. Huh? How this close? car's cool, but I'm trying to paint by the foot. Huh? And it's long. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that won't get it. That won't get it. What gets it? Huh? It ain't 15. We know that. That was yeah. your kind of. Well, you know we gotta start. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. You started in the stratosphere. I'm trying to bring it back down to earth. We here. <laughs> All right. I like it. I'll buy it. This thing make it back to Dallas? Right now, yeah. All right. I'll throw another five out. That makes it seven. Seven grand. I'll drive it to Dallas. Um, what's your number? Did I go too high? I thought we were going to back up. I got to get by 12. No, no. Hey, man. This thing's been z barted Remember z bart they sure have. They, they drilled the holes <laughs> and they squirted all that <laughs> stuff in there to protect exactly from rust. Like now listen up, you millennials out there don't okay, know what this yeah, is. Okay. You start seeing cars like got these little plugs, plugs on them. them. Yeah. It's called Z Bart, and you paid extra at the dealership, and they would drill a hole and they shot some rust repellent up into the frame areas and things that you couldn't reach from the outside. So this car's been Z Bart, which is pretty cool, but also doesn't really mean much at all. It's kind of like being undercoated. Okay. But, I appreciate uh, that. That's like a thirty-nine. Like yeah, thirty-nine dollar option. option on the okay. Seven grand's what I can do, man. Then I'm gonna wheel it up. Like twenty-six is. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all wires. Ooh. Maybe maybe twenty-fours would be better with this with this fender well, and uh, some mayo and ketchup, not mayo and mustard. I'm gonna roll it like that. I can just see myself go rolling in the back of my lady. She's right over there. You know. In her fur, go, go, going to the go, club. Go get that lemon grand. Oh no, I ain't got no lemon grand. You got I have to borrow money from him. He charges. You got it. You got it. And then uh, I, I just get in touch. I get another one and call you again. <laughs> and then I give you the no, deal. I be buying them that's, all day long for eleven grand. I give, you the, I give you the deal on the next one. That ain't how it works. No. You give me the deal on the first one, <laughs> <laughs> and then I make my money, and then I, I I give you a little more for the second one. I know mm. I like it. We got things to we do. We got to go. Yeah. Yep. Hey, All right, thanks, Jeremy. Nice you done? Yeah, man. Yeah. Eight yeah. grand. That's on Richard, right? And I'm walking yeah. off. Yeah. Right. 7,500, I'm walking. I've done, but yeah, so I'm 500 above you. I just can't make it. That's it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Huh? Just going with the turret? Yeah. It's turret, right up there. We built this one bare truck, man. Gunner sits here. I don't know that I couldn't resist the urge to ride in the turret and freak people out. It's cool, huh? <laughs> I put the turn on, they demill them. They send all the stuff to the scrap yard, cut it all to pieces. You just find stuff all over the country. Different guys here and there. Yeah, did yeah. My ferret inside? Sir? Did you see my ferret inside? I did. What's something like this even worth? I don't even know. It's fucking cool. Okay, I, got I wouldn't even know how to price something like this. Is this supplemental armor? Yes. This is a Duke system here. 
and uh, they got IEDs and stuff. They can scramble things with Duke, set them all. Take the guy. It's got the 6.5. When they first come out, they had a 6.2 in it with no overdrive. Well, when they went into Desert Storm, they couldn't keep up with the fight in Bradley's because they're outrunning them. And they had to stay behind the Bradley's for protection. It's got to just ride like shit, though, huh? <laughs> Watch that. Yeah, because yeah, I heard the turret, uh, if you can get your hands on one, is like 20 grand. Yeah. My buddy bought one the other day for 12. Did a good job on that, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it's fun, you know. And, and we do a thing for the veterans. We go everything we do for veterans. And I want veterans. I'm a retired battalion chief. Well, thank you for your service, man. Thank you. Another vet. Another vet. I always get nervous when kids come running by me saying, Daddy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I don't know your mom, I don't think. <laughs> no, that's good looking. I mean, super nice. Sir, you did well on this one. Thank you. That is freaking nice. That is freaking nice, nice. Got about 1,400 hours in it. 1,400? I, yeah, I did almost everything, everything myself. Really? Yeah. That's super cool. Is that uh, Greer's Body Shop and Restoration? Yeah. That's you, huh? That's you. Freaking body works great on this thing. I mean, really good. A lot of blocking. Yeah. <laughs> the worst part. Is this for sale? Uh, well, just give me a crazy number. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't start the negotiation because I might cut myself in half. But uh, I like yeah, these. I, I, I wasn't going to take less than 100 for it. Well, I wasn't going to give 100 for it. Uh, no. <laughs> That's why it's probably not for sale. Do you have the hard top for it? I don't. I sold it. I'm never going to put it on. I mean, I just drive car shows around out to eat stuff in it. That's freaking nice. That was really solid. Everything's original sheet metal, but the tailgate and the hood. Super cool, man. You did a good job. It's a nice truck. All right, thank you. Is that the original decal package? It is. It's the original three-wheeling truck. It's really cool. Yep, I've left. Only thing that's been redone in the interior is the seat. I like this wheel and tire setup, too. I got an F-250 Super Cab 78, um, all original that I was, I want to dress up the wheel and tire combo. It smells like real Corinthian leather in there. <laughs> James, is it for sale at all? Everything is for sale. I know. What is the, I don't want to sell it number. I don't want to sell it give, give me one of my numbers. Uh, great. <laughs> my numbers aren't that bad. Yeah, that's that's kind of insulting. <laughs> I, I learned it from you. <laughs> you didn't learn it that bad, though. No. <laughs> really seriously, what do you think your absolute no number one? I'm not ready to sell it yet. I just sold a bunch of cars and back on when I got left. I left. I'm yeah. going to have to get tired. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's a beautiful car. Thank you. It really is super, I mean, super nice. It's really nice. I got a 59 uh, that I'm building as a Roadster Shop chassis. Um, for a guy in uh, Spain, we changed it to right hand drive. Oh, really? And it'll be uh, all uh, supercharged LS and stuff like that. Well, James, thank you, sir. Thank you, James. Richard, how'd they call and you had to come to Mississippi? Right JD Dan Pass. How are you doing? This is my original 76 Eldorado. All right. It's you... got 7,000 miles. Did you buy it new? No, yeah, I did. I, no, I bought it from a, a guy in Ohio. Got 7,000 miles on it, huh? Everything, the paint is original except the fillers. Except for what? Except for the fillers. Yeah, those always go around. Well, how much is this car? It's not for sale. Oh, they're all for sale. I'm come like get a picture with you in my car. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, this is cool. I'm well, it's cool. I don't like looking at stuff I can't buy. Well, you can, I'll take you for a while to get it, man. I've had a hundred of those. They're great cars. When they're, when they're dialed in right, they're the best driving car there is. 
You wouldn't like my opinion. I'd like to know what it is. I can tell you exactly what Go it ahead, is. Tim. The pie in the sky number, the best number you're gonna get is 25 grand. <laughs> it's nice to meet you though. Oh, I'm just telling you. <laughs> you're a great guy. I've sold a bunch of them, even I with know. like 100 miles on them, 50 miles on them. Well, 25, 30 grand is what they do. You're a money man, find me one with 100 miles on it, I'll give you 30 if you get it for 25. Can you do that? I'll I look. need a white one with red interior. I'll look. You find one of those and I'll buy it from you for five grand more than that 25. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> But there's only one best to show. Okay. Every, that's why they want to know what we're picking so they can give other best classes. Oh, bounce them around. Yeah. So we're going to James Green. Is what yeah. we're doing? Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be. Star here. I just want to thank everyone for coming out here. We're going to give away a couple of awards and then we're going to tell you a little bit. We fought a little bit upstairs in the last 15, 20 minutes over who's the best of the show and a couple of awards. So we're going to go ahead without further ado. I want to thank you all for coming. We're going to go ahead and get this show on the road. Best muscle car goes to 212. That is the 67 RSSS 396, three and a quarter horse, four speed. That car is badass. Is that the uh, AMX? No, that's coming up. <laughs> okay. Is one one twenty seven best tuner one twenty seven? Right All right. What's the making model on that, bud? What's the making model of the car? Twenty fourteen Ford Focus ST. Twenty fourteen Ford Focus ST. All right. Uh, best donk goes to one sixty eight. There he there is, is over there. there. Woo! Mr. Easter himself. 83 yeah, Oldsmobile bro ham. And that's how we say it in Jackson, Mississippi. It's bro ham. Best bag build is 152. Hey, by the way, what make and model was that, darling? Uh, it's a 59 Apache. 59 oh, Apache. Yes. Thank oh, you much. Oh, that's what I've been trying to buy. Are you trying to buy them? Y'all couldn't make a deal? Wait, do we, need to, do we need to talk about this? What's going on? What, why? I've, already made an offer. I've already made an offer. I'm trying to buy it. It's right here. It's badass, and I like it. What, what, what happened? Yeah. There's a history behind that truck. We had a friend that owned it, and my mom passed away in July. Oh, oh sentimental connection. From, yeah. From COVID, so oh. I kind of bought that truck to, you know, didn't memory of her. I understand. Well, I'm oh. sorry about your loss. I think we need to bring her in for a big gas monkey group hug right here, real quick. What do y'all think? Big old gas monkey group hug. Okay. Well, we're glad you came up here and shared the story with us. Yeah. And right, do we so have a drum roll? The best of the show goes to car number 162. Yes. And I will tell you that we had a dilemma over three cars here. It was the Cadillac, the Biscayne, and the 63 Corvette. And I have to tell you, Mr. James Green and I, we fight and wrestle and try to buy cars together all the time. And uh, he's a fellow guy that sorry, really sorry. appreciates a good car. He's built that car for a long time. What'd you say? You just got it done three months ago. And I have to say that it's probably one of the nicest ones I've seen. It's, if y'all want to see something that's a half a million, three hundred thousand dollar car, right over there, James Green's got one. Is that offer? Huh? Was that an offer five hundred? No, fifty or three hundred thousand. <laughs> I'll give you two hundred.
<laughs> Team Cash. I'll give you 225 and I'll do that right now. <laughs> no, he's got a really, really awesome car. And, uh, yeah. you know, it, I think you should sell it to me. I mean, I'm a good guy. I'm a good car custodian. I kind of keep them, hold I'm on to them. I don't ever sell them. <laughs> we don't know who <laughs> Woo! So that's it. That's a wrap on the first annual Vault 390 car show. It's a kick ass place. It's in the middle of nowhere, Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, I got to take my lady out to dinner tonight, show her a good time. And it's back to Dallas tomorrow because well, obviously I'm going to have to buy more cars to keep up with JD. So get you some of that because I've got me some of this. Woo! And now I'm going to get some of this. What's up, man? <laughs>